All right, y'all, we're starting here on the front. We're basically, we got a mark there on the wall. We put a center mark on the, the door there. You can see it there. Then we put a mark over there, and we put a mark over there, and we put a couple marks out here on the dirt. Basically, we're going to make an eight by eight patio out here. It's going to be uh, eight foot wide here. And it's going to come out eight feet. So that's what they're trying to figure out. They're putting out batter boards, I guess. I'm not exactly sure what they're doing there, but uh, I'm just going with it. So we got to dig out and put a footing in. After we get our footing in, we got to uh, we got to get our bricks in. After we get our bricks in, then we've got to uh, we've got to fill it up. After we fill it up, we've got to. Uh, after we fill it up, we've got to uh, put a concrete cap on top of it. So that's what we're going to do here. Um, I think we're going to go level with these bricks here. And uh, that will keep... Uh, you'll have one step to get up in the house, obviously. And uh, then we'll put some kind of steps out here, I guess. But we'll figure all that out when we get to it. <clears throat> We're still using Milwaukee, though. Okay, what they have done, y'all, <coughs> they have transferred the line that we made on the house. They, they transferred it down on the brick. And then they put a screw up in the second. The uh, second brick mortar there. They put a screw there. And then they took a level line from there to there to make sure they're, they're pulling all their measurements at the same spot. Then they come out from here and come down here, put a batter board up, use the right angle to make sure they had, or framing square, to make sure they had that right angle right. And they used a level like they're doing now to make sure that the up and down was correct. So they, they tagged that. So they've got a right angle coming off the house here. They're gonna have a right angle coming off the house here. And then they've gotta have a right angle on these two lines, if they're both eight feet apart and see that's that's a problem they're having they like the stuff is not we still got roots and stuff in the ground he just pulled the stump up with a hammer <laughs> but anyway after we get all that done then we can dig our footings and we'll know what level is from here to there on the bottom basically we got to dig down down here we're gonna dig down four inches but that four inches here is gonna be uh it's gonna be a foot deep out here is what it looks like right now and then we're gonna do the same thing over there it's probably gonna be about the same about a foot deep there so uh actually that side's a little higher that one looks better that one's up about uh an inch off the ground where this one's down in the ground over here so they'll uh they'll get that figured out and then they'll get this cross one figured out we'll throw all the dirt inside the the hole that we're making so uh we won't have to tow quite as much so basically when we get out here it's only going to be three bricks high on the front there so that means uh i can probably put two bricks in the ground brick and a half in the ground for the step and I'll be good to go so that's uh that's what we're trying to figure out a bunch of complicated stuff but we'll get it p.s we need more brick we're out of brick we're in trouble need more brick we ain't got the brick to do this job hmm. hopefully we can find some did I mention today Sunday Need to find some brick. So we're digging it out, y'all. We gotta get it down to that. I think it's, I don't remember now. Four inches, five inches, whatever it is. Um, trick is we're 12 inches wide. 10 inches wide. So we're gonna put a four inch brick on top of it if we can find one. If not, we're gonna put a three inch brick on top of it. So, We'll see. But they're digging it out, digging the footings out. Then they're going to uh, make the footings and all that good stuff. 
but you'll see uh, here shortly it's going to keep getting deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. So, and it's got gravel in it. So we're fighting all that. But we'll get somewhere with it. different techniques. He's plowing over here and he's skimming over here. There was a bunch of bushes and stuff out here, but we, we dug those up last time when we was out here messing around. He's trying to get his trench on my square. He's trying to hog his out to get it ready. And then they still gotta go across the front. I don't know what they're gonna do there. soil around here is just straight sand 200 feet deep and it's still sand you get a well dug around here it's uh it's either a 200 foot sand well or a 600 foot rock well so uh, everybody's got sand wells around here uh, this particular place is actually on uh, city water or county water There you go, there's one side. And there is the other side. They're both coming up with the same, the same uh, end objective. They both got, he's got a round shovel, he's got a square shovel. It's all different. But they got it looking good. Now they gotta go across the front. That's gonna be a pain in the butt. Okay, there you go. The footing is done. Now all we got to do is uh, put concrete in, and uh, we'll get concrete in, and then uh, we'll have to find some bricks somewhere. Hmm. We'll find someone, I hope. If not, we'll be in trouble. But that part of it's done. So y'all, we mix concrete, we're pouring concrete. We're getting uh, we're getting to where we're going good here. So we should have the footing in in just a few minutes. And we'll let you see that. I'm for the wheelbarrow. Pinche loco. He's crazy. Okay, y'all. We're easing on here. We're going to pick up some bricks. We done picked up a load. We need another load for today. We got the underpinning done. We're trying to do a front porch. I got Ronnie at the shop. Uh, Ronnie at the uh, house there. Checking and making sure the uh, they're getting all the stuff done. But we got a road trip here. We're about to... Uh, Maybe, uh, maybe uh, 50, 75 miles from the, the building or the, the house there. We're heading back there. We got our ears pulled back and it's setting the wind. We're getting it. The uh, Basically, y'all saw we bought those other bricks out of a brickyard that was closed down. Uh, he sold out 
uh, he didn't have any more so we took all he had and now uh, I'm hunting for some more so I found some more over here uh, at a different location so I ran and grabbed those we're uh, we try to do all this stuff with uh, surplus materials so we'll buy like if you got brick and we need brick we'll buy whatever color you got and make it work to our application it says historic mile marker a half mile that's everywhere whatever the name of that little town is t-a-t-u-m town limits look at this little town this is what i was wanting to show you this is pretty cool if we was closer i'd get these buildings i like those we're coming up on them here 35 mile an hour i better watch out i get in a sling here I kind of get a heavy foot on the right hand side there my left foot ain't that heavy but my right one boy gets bad look at these buildings right here a little short building two story that is just cool four buildings there all of them's got upstairs there's the there's the uh, post office There's the house. A little gas station, cotton gin, something used to be. Hardware store that's been closed. They do have a carpet store. Looks like it's open. But that's the town. We're out of it now. So that uh that was pretty neat. We go by the jail up here, uh Bennettsville jail. This place does have this in it, though. That's a uh, pretty big place, it looks like. Marlboro. This must be Marlboro County that I'm in. Um, but I'm hauling butt back, trying to get back towards Ronnie uh, with this material. It's uh, 11 o'clock, or it's 12 o'clock right now. We're going to try to have this stuff installed today that I got in the truck. So we're hauling butt that way, and we're gonna put it in when I get there. We got the guys waiting on me. So hopefully they got something going on. Uh, Ron should show us something that they're doing shortly. But <laughs> don't know. But I'm that way. Here we go, y'all. Here's a crossroads. They got a furniture store there. They got a whole processing place there, and they got a restaurant there. And all this stuff is made out of mobile homes. In 3.8 miles, at the roundabout, take the second exit onto Beauty Spot Road West. It's an old school mobile home. That's barbecue. So, that's kind of crazy. But, try to keep them from ripping our shocks off. We got a load on the truck. But anyway, we're hauling butt trying to get there. There's another water tank. The historic mile marker, half mile, or historic marker, half mile. I've done seen 20 of those things coming down here. So, it's kind of crazy. But, that's a nice open, open field there. But they're growing everywhere. Even down here, they're putting in houses like crazy. I've seen multiple uh, new mobile homes right there land for sale 65 acres the uh just crazy that looks like a funeral home um that looks like a junkyard you know scrapyard junkyard whatever you want to call it so the uh it, everywhere is growing i just can't understand it they didn't finish that one like it was a church that was boarded up. The, uh, there's a funeral. There's a graveyard. But uh, we're coming to another little spot here. Hopefully we go past that plantation house again. That was pretty wild. There's a huge building over there. I don't know what that is. It's awful big to be out here though. 
another big old building. Right there. I told you I seen 20 of those signs. There's another one right there. Half mile. Seems like every three or four miles you see one that says a half mile. So I've got like two miles and I got to turn right or something like that. There's a plant of some kind. Oh, they was open earlier when I come in here. A big old plant. And there's another one over there on that side. That's what that one is. But we're rolling. We're still getting it. I never did see that. Uh, the thing says half mile marker, whatever. I never seen the marker. It just, it just keeps saying it a half mile. I did. Oh, this is pretty cool here. Going down this hill, there's water on both sides of the road. It's like a little something or another you go through here. That uh, that thing there is a walkway, and it's got lights on it where you can see, and it goes all the way across that lake or whatever you want to call that pond, lake. And there's like six parking spots here. How many millions of dollars did they pay to put that levee in along with that, that uh, all them lights and everything for five parking spots? That is crazy. But this side's too. still going. It stops right here then. There's that old plantation house. At the next stop sign, turn right. And the jail is right there I was talking about earlier. Go by the penitentiary. Penitentiary? That ain't how that's said. Whatever it is. It's a jailhouse. Okay, y'all. This is a uh, Sherol, I believe. My GPS telling me to go. At the next stop sign, turn right. Turn right? I think my GPS done bumped its head, but we'll see. I just come from that way. Now it wants me to come up here and turn right again. Don't sound right, but we'll see. It must be turning me left to make me turn right. Yep, that's what it's doing. At the stop sign, turn right onto 2nd Street. On 2nd Street. I must be on 1st Street now. No, they said this was Front Street. Transmission service. A little place over there. Sherall. Wadesboro, number 9. In half a mile, turn left onto State Road. State Road. None of these roads make sense. There's where I'm at. Y'all can stop that and see where exactly where I'm at. Okay, y'all, we had to stop and get some fuel. That's what we got. That's our bounty. We got a few of them laid in there. Should be about 150 of them there. But we're getting fuel and we're getting back on the road. We got to get back to the guys. That's just dirt in there. So they're all brand new. A little different color, but they'll work. Okay, y'all. We found us some bricks, a couple. What you think about them bricks, Ron? Boy, they look pretty good. Mm-hmm. Got a few bricks making that little bit of stuff. And uh, I ran and got a few there. So, got a truckload. We're re <laughs> tell them about us recycling, right? See, We try to buy all this stuff. Cut that, rate. That surplus from somebody else's job. I like the cut rate. We're, uh... That's why it takes us a little longer on some things. I tell them cut rate. But it seems like it all comes together right there at the end. Take the rate you want and cut it. Yep, that's right, cut rate. So but We're real recyclers, people. A lot of people talk it, but they, they, they talk the talk, but they don't walk the walk. See, we're driving all over the country, burning fuel, so we can pick up stuff that's used or not hasn't been used so that we keep it out of the landfill. 
and they don't have to make new brick. We, we're picking up brick that somebody else already bought to put it back in the porch. That's recycling. That's recycling in our book. So they got started here. They got that line there, and they got this line here that they're working on. And they got that line there. As you know, Ronnie, uh, that underpinning or foundation or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. There's like a hundred different names for it. Yeah. But skirting. Skirting. That's another name. The uh, We only had 40 bricks left over. Mm -hmm. Nearly perfect. Yes. On 1,270 bricks. That is just absolutely crazy. It took 1,270 bricks and we got 1,310. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And we did that in one trip. Yep. So I took my Chevrolet down and ran and got another 150 from a guy to finish this project. We're hoping we're going to have enough for that and the steps. Look, look what he's doing. He's He's got a brick that's cracked. Or is that one cracked? That one ain't cracked. That, well, one? that one's cracked. Show him the one down there where we recycled. Right there, that one. Look at that. Broken in half. That one he's putting in is broken in half, too. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Um, but just because it, you know, oddball, don't mean to just throw it away. It's subterranean. Um, we keep it all the little pieces. We, we will recycle. use them. We'll use them too. Either in backfill or in front fill, one or the other. Yep. It's going to be one or the other. It's just how it works. But anyway, we got the Milwaukee. You see it sitting over there. There's one. There's another one. Got to keep the Milwaukee. Come on, Milwaukee. Come, come on, Milwaukee. Come on now. What are you doing? We're using all of your products. You're supposed to give us free stuff. Yeah, sponsor it. Come on now. We need some more batteries. We're recycling here. We're recycling. We need batteries, though. We're trying to be, uh, you know, a battery saves the planet. Battery saves the planet. Somehow, some shape, some way. Um, they say if you drive a battery-operated car, you're saving the planet. Well, hell, I'm using a battery-operated sawzall. Exactly. So I'm saving the planet, too. You're not plugging it into the wall for that coal. That coal. Okay. We ain't using coal. We're using propane. Yep. So uh, come on, Milwaukee. Come on now. Okay, y'all. We're getting there. Three high on that side. Starting three high on that side. Coming on. Getting it going. Still got plenty of bricks over there. Still got plenty of bricks over there. Still got a little bit of mortar mix. Still got the Milwaukee sitting there. We're getting it. Other Milwaukee sitting over there. there shortly what you think ronnie we're getting there we're getting there he says we're getting there got the pros working okay y'all let y'all see what i'm seeing here do you see it ronnie do you see it? i can see it i can see it can y'all see it yet can y'all see it Y'all ain't saying nothing. Come on now. I'm giving you all the time in the world. Can y'all see it? Comment down below if you can see it. All right, y'all. That's going to end it for today. We done worked hard. Oh, man, we worked hard. We're ready to go to the house. Oh, man, I'm ready to go to the house. We got to get dinner. Oh, man, we got to go get dinner. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Make sure you give us a thumbs up for filming and subscribe to the channel if you hadn't already. And we'll catch you on the next one.